It doesn't make sense. Of course it does. No, we can't introduce her by her failures. We introduce her successes by what she knows. It's not smart to present like an expert. Other people call themselves experts, so why can't she? Because she's a fraud. Come on, we covered that. She's not a fraud, Shane. She just can't write more than a title. Which is why, instead of highlighting all the ways in which she has tried and yes, fail to get somewhere in this career, maybe, just maybe, we should focus on youthful enthusiasm. The fresh voice, the millennial thing. Millennial is over, it's Gen Z now. Is 34 still millennial? It doesn't matter, no one cares, it's Gen Z now. It's too risky. Exactly. People, this is important. You don't get a connection at New York Magazine every day, and if we don't nail this pitch, don't think it's going to come around again anytime soon. You're right, she'll never get another opportunity if she's less than magnificent, and it's due tonight. Well, maybe if we didn't have to, <laughs> I don't know, work to make money, we will have more time. The really successful writers have time. They have time to write and they have money. So much money. You know, you have to be a millionaire to get published these days. Don't get me started with the times of bestseller bullshit. Oh my God. Okay, so what do we actually have so far? All right, so we have Quinoa and Me, One Girl's Guide to Food Metaphor. Don't say girl. But the double Gs. Don't say girl. Jesus, people. All right, okay, and then we have Boiling the Potatoes, How Being Broke Taught Me to Cook, uh, Sticky Situations, The Year of Cutting Out Sugar, and Kneading the Dough, and Other Life Lessons from a 30-something in Queens. That last one is a pun about baking and budgeting. Oh, God. No, no they're, they're good. They're what we have. They're good. We we go with one of them. How did Cameron get a publisher? I like the potato one. Insta stories. Insta stories. <laughs> she called herself the Insta stories only account. And some <laughs> Australian literary agent thought it was of the zeitgeist. Good almighty God. Well, you know, it just goes to show. It goes that... to show that we need a book. You can't get published without already being published. If we get a book published, we get press. If we get press, we get blog followers. We monetize. We tell Marguerite we quit and co-parent with Thomas. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's the plan. Right? She's having the baby. Right? Unclear. Why would you ever think that would work? She's literally sitting around and making titles. She hasn't written anything other than a title. She can't write. She can't have a baby. This is impossible. Yes, actually, might be. Remember what Lana said? You're never gonna get published until you have at least 50,000 followers, and then you'll start to gain some traction, maybe even get a meeting. Although doubtful until you're in the hundreds, we should not be so naive about this. She could be working on this for the rest of her life with nothing to show for it. I think it's best to be a little bit more abstemious. What does that even mean? Not so self-indulgent. I'll put it in a sentence, sweetheart. Marv would like Kinsley to be a little more abstemious, a little more reserved, moderate, boring. He'd like Kinsley to take up less space, play small, and go without the recognition that she deserves, recognition that perhaps she's owed in a slight sort of way for all the years of brick walls and closed doors and other metaphors, meaning getting absolutely fucking nowhere and keeping her on the side of the amateurs and the hacks and the wannabes and the losers and the obvious. Or, Kinsley has the opportunity to not be abstemious, but to be ravenous. She could be hungry, famished, and ready to devour. She could demand the attention of those 50,000 followers and double it to 100, then 200, and outdo Cameron while she's at it all while obliterating any conclusion that she's not going anywhere because I swear to God, she is going somewhere. Have you seen Cameron's engagement ring? We are working on it! Which reminds me, not only do we need to get this pitch written, but we need to spruce up the socials. There is a great chance that we do pitch tonight, and then the people at the magazine go through her feed and all they see are poorly lit photos of Kinsley's food. Who has hacked that? I'll do it. Oh, God. What? Nothing. Spit it out. Well, I, I just want it to be, you know. No, I don't know. You know. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Gratuitous. Look at Cameron! Oh, so I'm really getting sick of your attitude. Attitude? I don't have an attitude. I just don't want her to be. What? As successful as other people? No. Oh, oh, oh as well known? No. Oh, as rich as other people who are not as smart as she is? No, I don't want her to be something that she's not, and she's not a great writer. Yeah, well, <laughs> it could be. Okay, I have it. Well, what is it? She's running out of time. This is what she does. She writes a blog post every day for a month. She posts it everywhere. It's the most online thing she's ever online. As I've been saying. Oh, God. Um, so, so she gets her work out there for a month. 
30 days. If she writes 1,000 words a day, she'll have 30,000 words. Your math skills are intimidating me. Stop. And what is 30,000 words? An impossible task with her already overcommitted workload and a growing embryo. It's a book. She'll take her blog posts and write a book. Yeah, but it, 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 did that our camera did it? If, I, if we want to get published, we have to find a way. I'm saying let's self-publish. Oh, Absolutely. No, if we need a book, we need a book. And then what does she tell people? <laughs> have you thought this through? She actually tells people that she self-published. She says, hi, people. I made this thing that no one else would publish, so absolutely, definitely give money to this epic failure by a literary dilettante playing into Amazon's oligarchic plan to take over the world. Self-published books do not do well. Right, because you don't have a publisher helping you. Does she have to do everything on her own? I feel it's my duty to be the one who says it, but what if people hate the book? Uh, well, that's ridiculous. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. People would hate it. Well, Cameron would definitely hate it. You just can't be sure with reviews. You just can't be sure someone wouldn't say something terrible and then bam, the algorithm takes it out. I think it might be more fun to just keep the blog set to private. Self-publishing is not an easy road. Oh, for all the people it is. People? She needs a book. Just give her a book. She needs to publish now or she's going to die. Writers are known to be self-indulgent. She might be doing this for the wrong reasons. Kins, it's a no-go. Changed their minds to run some skincare feature from a skin influencer, so they don't need your pitch. It's kinda how it goes, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you didn't spend too much time on this. Maybe we can try again next quarter, and maybe I'll see you at Thanksgiving this year? Give the cat a name. <laughs>